All right. You ready, Tony? In three, two. Welcome to the Sports Whip. I'm Corey Keyes, joined by Alex Lake right here for the DMOnline.com. Presented by Domino's, you can visit the West Jackson location in Oxford, or you can visit www.dominoes.com. Alex Lake joining me as usual. We're going to preview the AT&T Cotton Bowl Classic right here from Cowboy Stadium in Arlington, Texas, between the Ole Miss Rebels and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Alex, first and foremost, keys to the game for Oklahoma State. For Oklahoma State, you've got to stop a guy like Shea Hodge. Shea Hodge has obviously been there all year. He's the leading receiver in the SEC. You've got to Auburn proved earlier in the year against Ole Miss that you can stop a guy like Dexter McCluster, but you have to make you can't or excuse me, you you can let Dexter McCluster get his yards, but you cannot let Shea Hodge stretch the ball with Chevin Sneed. And that's defensively for Oklahoma State. How about offensively to go up against this Ole Miss defense? It's been the most consistent union, unit on the team all season. Yeah, it has been the most defense. But remember last last week, or excuse me, last game for the Rebels in the, in the Egg Bowl, where they came out and completely laid an egg, where they, Chris Relf came out with Anthony, Anthony Dixon in that option style offense that Oklahoma State killed, Oklahoma State runs and completely killed the Ole Miss defense. I look for the defensive line to have a really big day, but you've got to make sure you contain on the ends, make sure that Zach Robinson isn't going to flip around. On the other side of the gridiron, give me the keys to the game for the Ole Miss Rebels. For the Ole Miss Rebels, you've got to find a way to make sure Brandon Bolden gets the ball and he's productive on the day. Let's remember Ole Miss has a guy like Dexter McCluster. As I said earlier, he's going to get his yards. You have Shea Hodge. You need to find that third person in the mix. Mm -hmm. Brandon Bolden has to step up and get some really big yards against this very talented Big 12 defense. How about defensively for Ole Miss? To stop this read option that Mississippi State was able to beat them on. Well, you got to hope that guys like Patrick Trahan, Jonathan Cornell, and guys like Marche Green as the cornerbacks and uh, Kendrick Lewis in the backfield are ready for Zach Robinson to stretch it deep with a guy like Hubert Anaheim. Both Ole Miss and Oklahoma State had preseason top 10 aspirations. Oklahoma State finished the year 9-3, and 6-2 and two in the Big 12. Ole Miss 8-4 and four and a 500 record in the SEC. So now both of these teams are looking to rebound after disappointing losses to in-state rivals. Oklahoma State losing to Oklahoma and Ole Miss losing to Mississippi State. So what are your final thoughts going into today's game? Well, you know, there's so many storylines. Obviously, you've got Houston Nutt coming back, playing his alma mater, but you've also got a guy like uh, Gunter Brewer, who is right. the son of Billy Brewer, who actually coached Ole Miss back in the day. So a lot of storylines and look, look to be a big gridiron, Big 12 SEC day. And for Alex Lake, I'm Corey Keyes. Thanks for joining us on the Sports Whip presented by Domino's. We'll have post-game information. You can find all that coverage on the DMOnline.com.